Hello and welcome back to my Let's Play Dark Souls 2. In the last video, we did the Forest of Fallen Giants. That's just my uh, my solo character we're messing around with. Um, did the Forest of Fallen Giants? Um, done a, done one big lap around. Uh, unlocked the shortcuts. And what else did we do? Got the soapstone. Uh, came back here and done the business. Um, blacksmith shop is open now. Um, so yeah, we're all ready to go. I think. For some reason the hag hasn't come back here. It might, it might be she comes back when the boss is down or something. I don't know. Um, right, let's get to it. I want to travel back to Cardinal Tower. I'll just have a, a quick check with the the old hag and make sure that I've exhausted her, her chatting so she will come back here. And then we'll get on with the boss. You? It's high time that I pick up a move of a bargain. Yep, that's what you need to hear to Lovely. make a move on. Right, so yeah, we um, unlocked the extra passage thingy, not the extra passage, what am I talking about? Um, the door on this side, to the shortcut to the boss. I don't know what was going on there. And that's this door here, it's a shortcut. Um, go down and face the boss. Co-op on this game, in my opinion, is a hell of a lot easier than it was on the original Dark Souls. Um, running it on games for Windows Live, like I was for PC and um, Windows Live, Windows Live, um, Xbox Live was it was buggy, uh, it was laggy. You had difficulty connecting. Um, this one works really, really well through Steam. Um, the only time I really had a bit of trouble was this is on my other character was when I'm at a boss room uh, they refresh all of the summon signs refresh I think every 30 seconds or something and if your if your 30 seconds is after someone else's and they summon it when you try and summon it yourself it'll say that it's failed so you might spend say maybe a couple of minutes trying to get somebody into your world um, I'm gonna summon Pate for this fight because um, he's a bit of a tank And um, so I'll summon somebody else as well. Why not? Why not? Get a bit of cooperation in. Um, I didn't do much in the way of PvP on the my the original Dark Souls playthrough, so it'd be quite nice to to get some done on this. I'm gonna chuck all of these on just so I've got some extra stuff to throw at the boss. Really, um, get my magic oozes on the go. Right, show some courtesy. And we'll watch the cutscene. Yeah, it can be quite intimidating as a first boss, really, when you think about it. Um, massive. Ah, <laughs> oh, no way. Leave me on my own. Careful, pain. Ooh. 
took a hit. Right, after it takes a certain amount of damage, it rips off its own arm. <laughs> times but uh, at least it gives me another chance to try and keep Pate alive um, if you manage to keep him alive during this fight you do get um, the opportunity for some extra stuff a bit later in the game so I suppose it's uh, it's almost a saving grace I'll use that as an excuse <laughs> alright we'll go back and try that again Kill all these again. hope you can summon Pate again. <laughs> I've never actually uh, had him die and then had to come back. Ah, there we go. Right. Summon somebody else as well while we're here. on the same page. Alright, let's get it done. Grab my souls. Careful, mate. Roll, roll, roll. Hey, we did it. Paid loads of health. Thank you, Reshi. Reshi. Right. So yeah, I um I skipped what we got then. Um, just uh, show you in the inventory. Um. We got. Where is it? There we go. Uh, the soldier's key opens the soldier's door in the forest of the giants. <sighs> Fort was erected in the forest to face the giants, but somehow the soldiers are lost and hollowed. They are enfeebled, but not without honour, and continue to steadfastly defend their country. And we also got our first boss soul. Uh, acquire a numerous amounts of soul, or perhaps it's the soul of the lost giant. Um, soul of a surviving giant who was bound below the forest of the giants. 
Many seasons have come and gone, and the Giants prepare for his final rest. But his soul remained magnificent testimony to his former strength. Use the special soul of last giant to acquire numerous souls or create something of great worth. Um, there's the same process in this to um, Dark Souls, the original, um, in that you can use the souls that you collect from bosses to create some pretty cool weapons. Um, I can't remember off the top of my head what weapon that creates, but um, I'm going to save them all and we'll go for them all when we, we get to the merchant that creates them. Uh, so yeah, um, <laughs> one failure out of the way, but we uh, we managed to get it done. What I'm going to do is whoop, <laughs> not fall off the edge there. Um, just pop up to the bonfire and repair my weapon. And we're all good. There's um, a couple of little places I want to just check in on before we uh, attempt to fight the next boss. One of them being that door there, but I'm just going to kill this guy first. Use the soldier's key. Yeah, there's a, there's a few more tougher enemies in this place, so just take your time. Um, I'll try to catch up on some of the um, sort of anticipated games for me um, today. I watched a couple of videos for um, Destiny and Evolve. Uh, Evolve looks pretty awesome. Um, looking forward to that one. Oh, got hit. I think a couple of my friends are going to jump onto Evolve as well, so with any luck I'll be able to make some recordings of that, should be pretty cool. Uh, but Destiny, um, they released a some gameplay footage of some PvE content, um, sort of group structuring and stuff like that, and it, I've got to admit it looked really, really uh, interesting. Um, they're going to have like a raiding system on it, where a large group of people can all join together and do like a really tough dungeon. So I'm just going to concentrate on this guy for a sec. Alright, that's him dead. Um, They've announced some classes. Uh, I can't remember what they are off the top of my head, but it's um, very typical of like uh, MMO structuring to have like a healer, tank, uh, caster, damage dealer, stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I reckon it's going to be awesome. Uh, when I pre-ordered uh, this game, actually, I got a beta code for the Destiny. Um, I've already registered it, but apparently the beta is not for another couple of months yet. But I'm looking forward to that one for definite. And another one of these guys. Oh no. I'm going to need a heal. <laughs> Could have been bad. And here's my weapon. Uh, that's the weapon I'm going to be using for probably the majority of the playthrough. Um, bastard sword. Uh, after I finish this this area, I'll um, upgrade my character so I can use it. So you can see the move set. Move set's epic.
Didn't actually realise I was fighting two of those at the same time then. Um, whenever he does that, it's a four hit combo, so just remember. You have to <laughs> be very careful. And that's it down. That's the toughest of the enemies in this area, I think. Run around and grab the rest of the stuff. That's the leather set. Um, it's a little bit of a lighter set, more for a. Um, I think it's set out. Well, obviously, hunters. It's going to be sort of like uh, light sword users and bowmen. But I mean, you can pretty much use it in any build if you like. Um, you got the freedom on this game, as long as you allocate your points correctly. You can use anything with anything, which is uh, the joy. Have to excuse me if I go quiet while I'm fighting those guys because they're uh, quite tricky. Need to get your timings right. That's this area pretty much done with, to be honest. Um, there is a bonfire in this place, so I'm going to use that. And to be honest, I'll probably go back to Majula, uh, spend some souls, uh, upgrade that bastard sword, and upgrade myself so I can actually use it as well. You, stand back. The name's Leningrad, and you are a man not rope, no, not equipment. Well, you get some options. Um, you can buy some stuff from him. He's got some uh, some standard weapons. Uh, he sells some ammo, and he also sells uh, Titanite shards. So if you you're a little bit short, you can chuck them. Uh, you can buy them and chuck them on a weapon. He also sells repair powder, which restores the durability of your weapons. So, as long as the weapon is not broken, you can use that and it will give you your... I think it's 50% of your durability back, so... They're uh, a nice little item to keep if you're in a particularly long area. Um, I'll need to upgrade... The Bastard Sword. Got it to plus four, which is cool. I'll be around. Now I need to get 20 strength so I can use it. Mm. Mm. It's not Dark Souls 1. I'll speak to the woman. <laughs> Bearer of the. Seek the less. Hey, just enough. Let's get it on the go. I 
my favourite weapon so far. Um, I think it's awesome. I'll equip another weapon just as a backup. Actually, saying that I won't need it, I can get to the, the next boss quite quickly. Alright, so we want to travel back to Cardinal Tower. And there we go. Yeah, the uh, difference in damage on this weapon is uh, huge. You can one shot on these enemies now. Sometimes they were taking up to three hits to, to take down. Couple of enemies in this bit, just get them to come back. Oh, missing an item. Ring of Restoration. Um, it's a nice ring, actually. Um, I will take off the blue seal. Um, uh, gradually restores HP. So, while you're just walking around, um, or so if you go AFK or something, that ring on, it will uh, give you your health back very slowly. It is very slowly, but it's, uh, it's better than nothing. Um, produce the symbol of the king. Uh, this is an area which you access really late in the game. Um, you need a ring to be able to open that door. See the ring of the king. And, um, yeah, so that's really, really late in the game. Now we're going to head towards the next boss. Summon a couple of people as well. Just, uh, Make it a bit more interesting. If I'll make it there alive. Well, this is where you fight the next boss. Uh, you see the arena from there. It's quite small. But, summon a couple of people. See, this is what I mean about uh, summoning people and their signs disappear. We'll uh, try some of the smaller ones. No, we'll have to wait for the uh, the refresh on them. Till some fresh ones appear. If some fresh ones appear. <laughs> there we go. Seems to be a lot of people playing this time of night. One at least. Hey, buddy. Hey. You know how to beat this boss, right? 
Uh, yeah. This crossbow thing. Yeah, that's cool. Alright. Um, just I'll to let you know, man, I'm, them, so. I'm recording this for YouTube. Is that, is that all good? Yeah, that's fine. Alright, cool. So, <laughs> if you hear me talking over the video, explaining the boss fight, then it's just uh, me for the viewers, you know? Right, so in this boss fight, you've got a couple of choices. Um, you can either do it the way we're going to do it, and there's a couple of uh, Bastila um, in the arena, and you can use them to take the boss's health down really quick. Or you can um, use the tactic to roll to the side and dodge and take a couple of hits. So I will jump onto this Bastila here and my buddy over there is going to keep him in range and I'll get some shots off. There you go, you can see a big chunk of the boss's health went down. And another more chunk. And down he goes. Nice and simple. Nice. Uh, thanks, dude. Much appreciated. No problem. Take care of yourself. Have some fun. You too. Right, so that's that. Nice guy. Um... Yeah, that was the, the easier way to kill that boss. You obviously can't do that if you're playing solo, because uh, the boss will be all over you, and it will smash the Bastila down. Um, yeah, pretty cool. Nice big chunk of souls, another boss soul. Um, there is a way to get to the next area, which is just there. But I'm going to grab some items before we do. If you uh, drop down onto this platform here just below, You'll notice there's a, a corpse just down there, and it drops an awesome set of armor and a 100% block shield. So that's definitely, definitely worth going for. Yeah, that's this place pretty much done. I am going to go back to Medulla. Spend some more souls and get ready for the next area. Oh, why am I going there? Hmm. You know, it's the merchant's gone now. Um, she would have gone back to Medulla, so you'll see her in a second. Yep, so she sits over here. Um, oh, go on. <laughs> if you talk to her, sorry, if you buy. And now she sells an infinite supply of life gems. Um, so that's pretty handy if you start running low. They're quite cheap. So just chuck some more on there. She sells amber herb. They're very, very handy for if you're a caster. And. She originally sells five effigies. She's got three left because I bought a couple. But I think you can... Depending on your progression, she resets the counter on those humanities. So you can buy some more. Lovely. Uh, don't hold it against me, but it's just something that I've heard. Bear of to do some level up. His... Right, so I've got enough levels to use the sword that I've got. Um... Let's double check what the requirement is for the bow. Uh, I need 12 decks, so. There are points in decks. Less. What, 8 point in decks, should I say? There you go. Also, what I do want to do is try out equipping the Drang Lake set. See what it does to my weight. Right, that puts up to 76. 
Um, let's spend some points. There. Less. Getting my equipment load up. Into vitality. Go up to 12. Um, see what that does for me. Down to 66. Um, drag leg legs put up to 69.4. Puts up to 74. So. There. See if I can put any more points in it. With any luck, it gets it below 70, so I can still uh, fast roll. 71. Ah. I'll unequip the bow. Uh, I'll equip it when I need to. I've still got quite a heavy ring on. Um, actually, if I take the stone ring off and equip the ring of blades, then that makes it all good. Ah, point one out. Oh. I'll eventually use that shield uh, when I get some more equipment burden loads. Yeah, my character's a hell of a lot more defensive now, and I've still got my uh, fast roll animation. Um, that's going to be about it for this video. Um, I messed up a little bit on the, the first attempt on the giant. Uh, Pate died, but I managed to get it done again, and he survived. Uh, with help from some co op people, so thanks very much to those, and I will catch you in the next video. Uh, bye bye.